In this example, you will explore the buckling load of a simple bracket subject to a concentrated cantilevered load. The bracket, although solid, will be idealized as a thin shell finite element model fixed at the base and loaded at the tip. We will work through the entire FEMAP analysis. Let's import a FEMAP neutral file containing the geometry of the bracket. Go to File, Import, FEMAP neutral. Select Bracket neutral file and click Open. Click OK in the neutral file read options. The first step for your meshing process will be to define the property and material for the elements. Next, you will mesh the surfaces. The shell property represents the thickness of the material making up the two regions of the part. Define the shell element property. Go to Model Property. In the Defined Property dialog box, give the title as Shell. Under Property value, give thickness as 0.1. Click OK. Click Yes to create material. Click on Load. Select ASCII 4340 steel and click OK and click OK again in the property dialog box. Create boundary surfaces for both regions of the model. Go to Geometry, Boundary, Surface from Curves. Select the four curves that make up one of the regions and then click OK. Select the four curves that make up the part's other region and then click OK. You should now have two new boundary surfaces. Specify the mesh size for the surfaces. Go to Mesh, Mesh Control, Size on Surface. Click on Select All in the Entity Selection dialog box and then click OK. Set Element Size to 0.3 and click OK. Go to Mesh, Geometry, Surface. Select the two surfaces and then click OK. Select the shell property from the top down list and click OK. Create the constraints to fix the nodes at the base of the model. Go to Model, Constraint, Nodal. Give the title as Constraint and then click OK. Pick the nodes at the edge of the model and then click OK. Select Fixed and click OK. Create the load in the Y direction. Go to Model, Load, Nodal. Give the title as Load and click OK. Pick the node at the tip of the arrow and then click OK. Select Force and give F5 value as 100 and click OK. Let's create the analysis set and solve the model. Go to Model, Analysis. Click New. Give title as Buckling. Select NX strand in the analysis program and buckling analysis in analysis type. Click OK. Click on Analyze. Once the solve is completed, you will display the buckling shape and buckling factor. Go to View, Select, under Deform Style choose Deform and click on Deform and Contour Data. Choose Output Set as Eigenvalue 1. The set value is the eigenvalue and critical buckling factor for a buckling analysis. 
In this case, the part would buckle at the load of 33.06 times higher than the applied load. Thank you for watching our video. We hope that it was beneficial to you. In case of any queries or any assistance, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.